Welcome to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. AGT with Doyle, freestyle DM. Unbelievable, my brother. Talk to me. Manchester City 2, Liverpool 3. We're going to Wembley again. With the Wembley Wizards, lads. I thought you yeah. almost said Lizards then. We are the Wembley Wizards, kid. Hey, we're the Wembley Wizards. We got City, lad, and made up with this after the game that we had the other day. I thought it was going to be really hard for us, really tight. But actually, because we played that Stefan, lad, they give us a weakness, bro. They give us a weakness today, lad, and we exploited it. Well, I say we exploited it. Sadio Mane exploited it two times, bro. One, right? The second goal that he scored today oh. was my favourite one. You know why? Why? Because it just showed that he wanted the ball and he had the desire. That's all it was about, that one. It wasn't about technical ability. It was just about, I want this ball. I'm going to oh, win this ball. Yeah, go as well. Goal? Yeah, amazing. Like, but yeah, but the, sec the third goal that he scored, sublime. Like, my days, lad. That's one of the best moves I've seen Liverpool do, you know. not Let's not forget the Trent pass before that. Ah, volley over the top. I think it was the Diaz, lad, or something. Yeah. Incredible, lad. This team that we're watching right now, honestly, I I'm so he's speechless, he's speechless, Thanks if God. there is a Lord, if there is a God. Yeah. Um, okay. Remember to like, comment and subscribe <laughs> to the COP TV if you haven't already. Reds at home, let us know how you're feeling. I hope and know that everyone at home will be buzzing. We're in another domestic cup final. Let's take you back to the start of the game, D-Man, right? We, yeah. st we come out of the blocks, um, we're running at them, we're making them nervous, we're okay. pushing them into um, corners really, we're, we're making them pass it back, they're kicking it out of play. The best start possible for Liverpool, and after five minutes, we're one nil up. In incredible! Who was it that scored the goal again? Let me just just. just Canate header oh, first. Oh, lad, three, first three half, headers three, three headers in four games for Canate. Two against Benfica, one against City. Great That's corner, and we're scoring a lot from corners now. That's what we've always done. That this season, we are dangerous from them corners because we've got Fab, Virgil, Canate. We've got loads of tall players, lad. That's what we do. But Canate in the last few games has come into himself, lad, and it's wonderful to see, lad, that when we do bring him in, not it's only does he contributes defensively, lad, but he contributes with goals, brother. He scored more goals than Jack Grealish, by the way. Hey, more goals than Jack Grealish. You heard me say that. Hundred million can't even score three goals, lad. Just saying, lad. Just saying. Anyway, they are facts, to be fair. They are facts, lad. Yeah, but to be honest, lad, this performance in that first half was just unbelievable. I said, well, if we get a third goal now, the game's over because you can never put City out of it. City are City. They score goals. They showed it today. They scored two goals, even though they were really poor. But we've done it in the end, lad. Right. So it's one nil. We're on top. We're dominating. The sun's out of Wembley. The fans are in fine voicing the new Jurgen song. All of a sudden, the ball gets passed back to Stefan, a name that was definitely a weak spot within their team sheet when we saw it come out. No De Bruyne, no Walker even in the squad. Um, and he has the ball. And very similar to what Edison did last week, he couldn't quite find that composure. He takes a touch. Mane is circling around him like a vulture, waiting for that mistake. He takes another touch. Second too late. It's a goal 2-0. Yep. Persistence. That is a kind of goal in itself that encapsulates Liverpool's spirit. That's Never give up. Favorite. Close down. Pressure goal. That's exactly why it was my favourite goal, lad. It's not about being fancy, lad. It's about wanting the ball and wanting to win for Liverpool, lad. And that's what Mane did today. He was the man of the match, lad, because... His just tenacity and his will and desire to want the football, lad, was just incredible. And he scored a splam goal as well in the end of it. So 2-0, we're on top. I mean, we were loving the stream on DR today. It was an unbelievable atmosphere. Um, and we were saying, listen, we need a third goal to kill the game. We got one before half-time. Another incredible move by Liverpool, orchestrated by all the names you'd expect. But it was Thiago, he clips the ball around for Mane. And then on a volley, he on purpose slices it down diagonally into the keeper's near post. Again, the keeper at that point, his head's all over the place. But when it goes to 3-0, we're in dreamland, aren't we? Right, do you know what? Yeah, have you seen the choirs? Yeah, seen them choirs with the orchestrators at the top, yeah. lad? And they're going, getting people to Conductor. Yeah, yeah, conductors, lad, yeah. That's Klopp, lad. He's just looking at all these players, lad, just going, la, 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 la. Go, lad, see that? Boom. Sublime, lad, sublime. I, I can't, honestly, that's one of the best moves I've seen for Liverpool. It really is. Every player contributed, and the way they contributed was just top draw, lad. Incredible. Let us know in the comments what was your favourite goal, one, two or three. Many people's it will be two because of, like you said, the tenacity. But then, obviously, Pep's in the changing room put an absolute rocket up his players. Yeah. Um, and within a minute, they've scored Very Grealish's cool. goal. Um, I mean, what were you thinking then when that happened, a minute into the second half? Panic, don't you, lads? Man City, they can score as many goals as they want to when they want to, lads. So, I just thought about game management. I'm sure that's what the lads thought on the pitch. And credit to them, lads, they calmed the game down. They had one more chance, Jesus, and then you stepped up for us, the main man, Ali. Best yeah. in the world, that one-on-ones, by the way, incredible, lad. Honestly, 
He saves us so many Sorry times. Well. Yeah, he yeah. um, he's done really well for us. So I just can't believe one. I'm, I'm like I'm in delirium. And right then now. as the time goes on, they do start getting into the game. We were thinking, surely at this stage, you either make a change in the midfield. Fernandinho, how that man, and I'll speak about this as well on the instant match reaction and play ratings. He was, uh, he stayed on no De Bruyne, and then they score again with maybe two minutes to go. For the last few minutes, that was the most horrible few minutes I've watched this season. And then he had the chance with Sterling as well at yeah. the end of the game, which was terrifying. Just and Fernandinho got one blocked over the bar. Yeah, and Mares as well, actually. Yeah. yeah, it was terrifying to be honest with you. And then, but we had our chances at the end of the game. Listen, lads, we were the better team in that whole game. We were like, they had two chances on the clinical, so they finished them like, but we won. We won because we were the better and team. We're going to Wembley, and let's not forget, the quadruple is still on, Doyle. It's definitely still on, lad. I'm not going to say we're going to do it, but it's still on, and I can't believe it's still on. So, what can I say, lad? It's on, isn't it? What's happening? It's on. <laughs> we're about to approach May, and the quadruple is still on. It's the first time this has ever been achieved by any Liverpool team ever to be in all competitions at this stage of the season. Jurgen Klopp does it again, gets one over over Pep. Who do you want in the final, Chelsea or Palace? I'm going to say Palace, and I know it's not disrespectful to them, lad. It's because we've played Chelsea a few times, and I hate playing them because they're a difficult team for us to beat. We've shown it in every game that we play, we've thrown. That's a win on penalties. Can't bother with that again. I would like a Palace team that's going to have an open game of football with us, and that we can potentially beat, lad. Yeah. No disrespect to them because they are fantastic, and what the air has done this season is incredible. I love watching them play football, but we've got to be realistic, and I'm sure we both agree, Palace. Yeah, I go Palace again. Let us know in the comments. Massive week next week. Tomorrow morning, United View are going to be doing a preview of Flex, and then it's the big one. It's the big one. Manchester United at Anfield on Tuesday, and then the even bigger one, to be honest, the Derby at Anfield on Sunday. Doyle, we're in another final. Yeah, How do you feel right now? I can't Tell believe us. it. Hey, this is amazing. The best team I've ever seen for Liverpool. I am in delirium. And I just please let me have this. Anyone that's watching, please let us have this. We deserve this. We've had Stuart Darnan, Roy Hodgson, Charlie Adam, lad. All these mad players, right? Please, please let us have this. We deserve it. Love you all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just before you go, don't forget, give us a like, drop us a comment, and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of football's most famous stand.